Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There is a lot going on with UEFA Road to the Final. Look at this loading screen. I just went away, but there's so much going on with that loading screen. A lot of content that is upcoming, it seems to be, based off of that that EA have given us and also with the leaks that EA have given us. We have a few player leaks for Road to the Final cards upcoming. We also might be learning that there are two teams of Road to the Final. We'll talk about that and how EA have changed how they're going to upgrade these cards no longer is it just stat boosts for teams that progress throughout the conference league the europa league or the champions league they're also getting some upgrades similar to path to glory cards did earlier this year in the world cup there's a lot to talk about with road to the final upgrades and the promo starting tomorrow so we'll look through that we will of course today as well talk about the market we had the 86 plus campaign player pick that was dropped yesterday a little bit of a surprise right we had the 82 times 20 last week this week ea said hey have some fun with a pretty decent value um, gamble player pick SBC a lot of fun this one for sure we're going to be able to do it again as well could that impact fodder this weekend absolutely it will we're going to talk about that in today's video and what to expect on the final day of future stars EA is still dropping swap tokens they said 30 on their website they're going above 30 those store packs really are bonus tokens so GG's to EA for dropping a few extra tokens on this game we expect one more today in marquee matchups we'll talk about that and what else is going on with this market as future stars players are still dropping in price take a look at body of shield just really quick before we get into things this guy was a hundred thousand coins yesterday today we are looking at eighty thousand coins potentially dropping lower with pack supply and with more leaks and more hype of everything that is going to go on with Road to the Final in this game today. So if you're excited for the content and excited for Road to the Final, hit the thumbs up. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Let's talk about Road to the Final. Let's talk about these upgrades because EA Sports leaked them yesterday. Our boy Foot Sheriff with the leaks as always posting. This is how the upgrades will work this year. And there are some changes, right? It might look familiar though, because instead of just getting inform stat upgrades across the line all the way from the quarterfinals all the way up to the final we are now getting trait weak foot and skill move boost just like past the glory you can see if you qualify for the semis you get three new traits traits and a plus one inform upgrade qualifying for the final gives you a five star weak foot and winning the final it's behind me here but it says plus one inform upgrade and a five-star skill move boost. So it's actually very comparable to Path to Glory. And I don't know what you guys think about this. Let me know down in the comments. Do you like having these extra skill move, weak foot, and traits on cards? Or would you rather just have the extra stats, right? I think one example that I think of and a lot of people look to is back with Path to Glory, we got Kuti Romero's center back card. Of course, Argentina went all the way. They won the World Cup. So he got a five-star, five-star upgrade with some stat upgrades. But if you think about it, it's like, well, do I really need five-star, five-star on a center back? Yeah, you maybe don't. But for all the other cards that ended up getting five-star, five-star, like Nkunku, Griezmann, Alejandro Gomez, so many other cards are benefiting greatly and are still incredibly overpowered in this game because of those boosts that happened during that promo. So I'm a fan of the five star five star. Of course, it all depends on what live cards from what clubs end up going to the Champions League final to get these upgrades to see if it will be a W or more of an L, right? If we get another center back with five star five star, it's like, man, that's a bit disappointing. But, you know, if like Neymar gets a card for PSG and they somehow come back against Bayern and go all the way there, you know, that sort of thing would be insane. I guess Neymar is already 5-5, five, five, so that's not a great example. But you get what I'm saying, right? An attacker or a midfielder getting 5-5, five, five, for road to the final card would be extra special. So that's interesting there. Now notice something that's different with this Champions League upgrade path uh, than the other ones, right? First knockout game win after campaign launch. So if they win one game during the progression to the final, which of course, if you're going on and you're moving on, you will have to, you get a plus one upgrade. And then of course, after that, it's just if you qualify for the next round, no more winning stipulation upgrades after that first one for Champions League cards. For Europa League and for Conference League, it's different because these are actually a part of playoffs. The games that you will watch today as a part of Europa League and Conference League are a part of a playoff to get into the round of 16. So these games, technically, if they win today, doesn't count for an upgrade, right? All that matters for the Europa League and Conference League is that they 
progress and get into the round of 16. So Barcelona and Manchester United, the first leg is being played today, right? That's the big game today. It's not like whoever wins this game gets upgraded or whoever wins the next game gets upgraded. It's whoever progresses into the round of 16 will get that first upgrade. And that is the big difference between the Champions League and Europa League and Conference League, just because that's how the tournaments are set up a little bit differently. But after that, everything is the exact same with the same upgrades and the same weak foot skill move boost for the traits and everything along those lines. So it's just kind of here at the beginning. It'll be a little bit different for those, uh, but at the end, it will be the exact same. So that's how the upgrades are different. I think, again, let me know down in the comments what you think. I like the 5-5 five, five stuff. I'm a big fan of that, but let me know what you guys think down below. That's different than what we've ever had in years past because before it was just, you get stat boost. You get stat boost all the way from whenever you get launched all the way till the end. So adding in that other stuff, I think it's a nice touch from EA, um, especially since the Champions League final is not until like June. It's going to be TOTS time when these cards will be released anyway. So a lot of other cards will be five star, five star. So it won't seem as cool as like these cards did earlier on in the year with the World Cup Path to Glories, but it'll still make a lot of cards extra elite because of that. Now, speaking of more leaks, let's talk about player leaks. You're gonna notice a theme here. There's only one type of card that is leaked so far. We're starting off with an SBC. You wrote to the final Europa League, Diaby, right? This is our first SBC leak and our first player leak. Uh, was this gonna be our SBC on Friday? Because if it is EA Sports, you know, this is cool, but is it like that insane? 80 shooting in uh, mid-February? Maybe doesn't cut it, but this is a very overpowered card in this game. A lot of people would love to use a Musa Diaby just for the fact that he has the pace. He has insane dribbling stats, and it's probably not going to be that expensive. So I'm not complaining yet. I'm just saying, okay, EA, let's see what else you got. Let's keep it moving. But, uh, you know, that to me didn't hit like super duper insane. But the rest of the cards that have been leaked so far, they're also all Europa League. Take a look at Martinelli. He is going to be coming in this team as well. Stats are a prediction for all of these, but 95 pace, 90 dribbling, 85 shooting, 84 passing would be very, very nice for a Brazilian left mid in the Premier League. That's a pretty big name, probably the most hyped league that we have at the moment. Chiesa is up there with him, though. Another Juve player, another Chiesa special card. This one would be massive as well. Now, notice what's in these leaks, right? He says team number one last year with road to the final we did not have a two-week promo for this it was only a one-week promo but it looks like this would confirm that it is going to be two weeks now the only question and the only contradiction we have to that is is he saying team one because he's being told team one the leaker for sheriff that is or is it actually just going to be one massive team like we saw last year? Because last year, Road to the Final, and even in previous years of FIFA, there were there were so many cards, right? It was more than a normal team of like a team of 11 players with a mini release on Sunday to get us to like 14 or 15, right? It's not normal size promo teams when it comes to Road to the Final. So is it really going to be two teams? I think it is if he's leaking it that way. But just kind of that's something in the back of my mind as we take a look at these leaks. Here's another player, Kevin Vaughn. Holland, and those are all the leaks we have right now. Just a few Europa League cards, which is so interesting. Either he's choosing to leak these cards first, and there are other leaks that we're going to see today, or maybe this Team 1 is going to be Europa League heavy. Um, I don't know. It's really confusing as to what we have seen right now with some of these leaks. But so far, Kies is a solid name. Valen's a decent name. And uh, Martinelli's a pretty big name as well. So hopefully he keeps releasing some pretty big name leaks and we start to get some of the Champions League players, uh, of course, inside of this as well. That is what we'll be looking for with this leaks. Watch out for more of those today. I would imagine he's going to be dropping some on Twitter. Um, and today will be a pretty big day of hype looking for the road to the final players. Now, last thing really quick here is the loading screen. And we might even just go over Twitter to look at this because you know, the loading screens disappear so fast anyway. But this loading screen was dropped yesterday. It's a screenshot from the stream yesterday. Um, and there's a lot going on here. We have a car design. We have got right here. Uh, this is probably the Champions League man of the match car design, which means they're going to be dropping man of the matches during Road to the Final, which is dope. We love that. And then we have two player SBC here. We have like a player SBC and then like a, another one. I don't know what's going on here. And then all the way over to the far side, we've got a flashback car design. We've got two different packs. And then we have the three promo car designs in the middle. There's a lot going on in here. I don't know what EA is really trying to say. The only thing we can really decipher is that we're going to be getting player SBCs, man of the matches, and other road to the final SBCs. 
during this promo. It looks like EA is going to make a big spectacle out of all this, which is exciting. But also, it's like, okay, EA, you got me interested now with this loading screen. So tell me more, right? Show me the content you're going to drop during Road to the Final. Uh, I, I'm getting pretty excited for it, at least. But I just love this promo usually anyway. So again, a lot going on here. Hopefully, we learn more about what's going to be happening with all of this pretty soon because uh, it looks promising to say the least now let's turn the focus back towards the market this game at the moment because yesterday was a bit of a surprising day with that 86 plus player pick and the balotelli sbc that wasn't the biggest surprise balotelli was expected to be dropping but this 86 plus sbc coming in at around a hundred thousand coins was one that i did not expect to see yesterday and again the confusing part of this was it includes the out of positions cards which when we take a look at the out of positions promo team there's really not that many cards in here that are like super duper meta you have a muhammad salah um and you have you know a pretty good cancelo that is a part of out of positions but besides those two guys you know a lot of reese james decent right fofana was in a lot of those player picks yesterday um i mean to be honest this player pick and this content from ea is just flat out fun so i'm not complaining i'm just confused as to why the out of position players were included in this player pick but as you can see 97,000 coins right now on flipping 72 percent upvote really easy to do right and then if it's a 103 player pick you have some of the most recent promo cards in there with future stars and team of the year honorable mentions and then centurions in it as well so guys like neymar zlatan team of the year honorable mentions Vinny jr and uh valverde so many great options from this player pick of course most people were not getting those cards like if you look at the top popular page on footbin we saw so many of this barrage yesterday jordy alba like these guys are on the top page of footbin because that's who people are packing from this player pick right tail hernandez was pretty popular from this pack i saw a couple freds as well like it was a lot of these lower tier centurions and a lot of the lower tier future stars players that i saw getting packed out of this player pick and it made some of their card prices drop especially of the guys that were in the player pick and getting packed a decent amount their prices definitely took a bit of a hit yesterday as people maybe sold the tradable version that they had and then of course on the flip side you did have a little bit of a spike in sbc fodder but this sbc wasn't like that expensive so fodder prices didn't move that much like 85s uh with this only being a one squad requirement it was like 86s with an 85 rated squad you know these guys went up a little bit but not that much 86s had a bit of a spike 83s had a little bit of a spike as well um but it just wasn't anything that moved the market a crazy crazy amount 83s are up two and a half thousand coins or a little above that yesterday for fodder guys i mean it's such an interesting uh predicament right now in this game because we are definitely going to have packs opened this weekend which will supply some fodder a little bit even today on thursday i would expect the marquee matchups packs to impact the fodder prices on this game last week uh fodder was dropping on thursday until we had the 89 plus icon pack that was posted in the code and then people started investing and buying on it and it was kind of its lowest on like thursday night into friday morning that same scenario could happen this week because the 89 plus icon pack refreshes tomorrow and like the 87 plus hero did last week it did move the market last week when that refreshed even though there was packs open for future stars team two people went back out to the the market and bought fodder and fodder was actually its lowest earlier on friday so if fodder drops off today after marquee matchups is released keep a close eye on that part of the market because it might be an early investment i don't really enjoy investing in fodder that much before a promo friday where there's going to be a lot of packs open and we don't know what packs e are going to drop so it's always a little bit of a risk uh, to do that anyways, but just keep a close eye on the fodder market because maybe if there's a bit of a spike today at content time, after that, I could see some prices falling with supply and with people, you know, usually trying to sell fodder before we get to a Friday with the supply that would be out there. So watch your 91s, watch your 88s. They're down a bit, right? 31,000 coins for Modric. These guys were higher, you know, earlier in the week for sure. I think if you take a look at like Sunday, uh, Modric and company were like 37,000 coins because that was the most hype day of that 89 plus icon pack being out. So I'd be a little careful with fodder, but also, you know, interested to invest in it as well or to club stock it if prices drop a lot tonight on Thursday, um, heading into tomorrow on Friday. Also 82s right now at a thousand coins. These guys are consistently like 1.4, 1.5 K. So if you're looking at this right now, might be a stock ahead of the, um, 
rewards day today as I think actually these would be a great idea to stock up on because they will absolutely go back up a little bit today as there's a lot of demand for that low tier fodder and for the 82 rated squad which is inside of the future stars academy player pick there's a lot of demand for that still so I think that could pull those prices back up to like 1.3 1.4k uh, for sure now also today we're keeping a close eye on the future stars from team number two because we would expect these to drop today we talked about body of shill malasia some of these lower tier cards i remember last week a lot of the future stars from team one dropped off on thursday because of the marquee matchup supply and since there will probably be a token in today's marquee matchups once again our final token the 30th token that technically will have been released on either swaps objectives or sbcs and the 33rd token overall. Now, the reason we say this is because yesterday in objectives, we had a bit of a surprise token with the um, Silver Stars token being released. EA said on their website that they were going to release 30 tokens. They said nothing about bonus. They said nothing about store tokens. But I guess we have all we're, we are always going to assume now that store tokens are extra and not a part of whatever they say they're going to drop because they dropped two more yesterday which took us to 32 in total counting the store tokens um, and so we're guessing we're going to get one more today because we have had three different token packs during the future stars promo so watch out there will be more demand for people to do marquee matchups today and that to me would probably mean some of these guys are going to keep dropping off i just saw like um and there must be, have been a little bit of panic selling before we had rewards day because jurian timmer was down like 220 he's now back at like 230,000 coins so he is back up a little bit enzo fernandez was just a little bit lower and so was um Kavicha. Kavichi was like 610 or like 600k flat, and now he's back up to about 615. So, you know, some of these cards have gone down for sure. Malasia is down. I would expect to see the lower tier get hit the most today. How much is Malasia? He was like 340 yesterday. Is he still like 340, 350? Yeah, 340, 350. I still believe that this card's very overpriced. I still think he is going to end up dropping off today, as will some of the other Future Stars cards. But with all the content that is on that loading screen, and of course, it depends a lot on the leaks today, I really think. Um, we'll see. I don't, I don't expect a big time market drop off, but... I, some of your prices have just kind of slowly floated up right throughout the last couple of days or they've stayed the same uh, for out of packs cards since we got to Sunday, right? We saw that nice Monday market rise and prices have kind of been pretty stable since then. We'll see if today that changes at all with Road to the Final News and maybe some leaks and maybe some more information about that being dropped on this game. Keep a close eye on the market, but I wouldn't expect any super crazy movements today. I do believe today will be a pretty quiet day of content. The only SBC that is leaked today, and it's kind of like a guarantee to be dropping today, is Hamad Traore. Uh, is coming as a Future Stars SBC player. He is a Premier League left mid another ivory coast sbc which is kind of cool right a lot of ivory coast links recently you could put together um with especially some of the cards we had last week um and previously in fifa for sure like the fofan sbc i mean uh specifically but that could be a fun card probably gonna be pretty cheap again i think it's gonna be a quiet day of content today with that sbc marquee matchups and that's probably going to be about it now let's talk market in terms of team of the week a little bit ronaldo did get into the team of the week and a lot of the link investments to him dropped off like crazy because again it was a, a, whenever we get an inform for a ronaldo like this yes there is hype but you're only getting a plus one overall you're getting plus two pace plus two passing not that big of an upgrade so prices for his card actually ended up falling a little bit and then ben yetter got into the team of the week so that means hopefully the player of the month ben yetter that we will see dropped in game this coming monday will be 89 rated fingers crossed um, and thank you EA for doing this because you might have just given us an even better uh, Ben Yedder player of the month SBC coming next week so that's nice De Lorenzo and uh, Luke Shaw some really nice cards in this team of the week as well as also Frim Pong linking to that Diaby leaked SBC just be careful with these guys prices you guys know the drill team of the weeks are always your most expensive on Wednesday and Thursday and then once we get to Friday they start dropping off a lot so specifically this De Lorenzo um, and the Luke Shaw I think they're going to get packed a decent amount and drop off off a lot in price here pretty soon just keep a close eye out on those guys on this game at the moment and then balotelli yesterday i gotta have a couple words about this card i tried the balotelli sbc yesterday and on paper this card looks really good and maybe it's a skill issue man if you guys have used him tell me how you like him I thought this card was woeful he was fun because he's lengthy i put a hunter on him still lengthy right 
his shooting was just absolutely awful for me. Like I was green timing shots on his four star weak foot and they were like going completely off, uh, not even close to being on target and just felt like he was a little bit jammy, which is a good thing, right? Five star skills was nice. His 99 strength is really, really nice, but I just felt like he could not score goals like at all. So besides heading, he was really good at heading, but I don't know. That was just my opinion, but it was a really fun SBC to do. I'm not complaining about the content at all because this is really, really a dub for me as sports, uh, especially with the five star weak foot and the upgraded, um, work rates in game as well. He's got the high, low or high, medium, whatever it was high, low. So that's a W, but I just could not get along with that card yesterday. And it was actually painful uh, for me to try to use that card in uh, some of the friendly games, which I'm still ca catching up on at the moment. But there is a lot going on in this game right now. We're going to talk more about it tomorrow. Hopefully we get some new information today with Road to the Final with everything that is going on and uh, maybe some more leaks because it's probably going to be more leaks today. We'll hopefully get some big name players and some excitement rolling for Road to the Final. Continued excitement rolling for that promo starting tomorrow. So if you enjoyed the video today, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you are new. That's the news in FIFA 23. I'll see you guys in the stream today. I'm out. Peace.